literature, in the world of creativity, in the world of talent. These all, of course, transcend borders and can be shared, enjoyed and appreciated by everybody. We love the appeal of Irish writing and creativity here in Germany. We love the fact that we are Irish, but we also love the fact that we are European. Proud of yourself. My dreams are heavy, bloated things. My crusted eyelids peel apart as I wake, my mind a shimmer with the haze of disintegrating images. It's always the same these days, the world turning sideways, oily black ink spilling down the walls and flooding the square box that I'm trapped in, pooling over my ankles, then my knees, then my chest, until it's over my head and I can't breathe. Could I grow up in a night, grow up in this day, curled here with him in his small bed, in the cradle of our arms and wrap of our legs, watching him deep in his deep dream, far the threat of what he's been while I lie here in love. I can still see his face, the back of his head. The back of his head came off in my hand, he says, holding his shaking fingers high and stiff in the air. He looks at them wild-eyed, reimagining the horror and wanting me to imagine it with them, as though this is the first time he had ever described Michael's death to me. Josephine, you wouldn't want to because I'm not. You just collect bulky religious souvenirs to use as murder weapons, is it? No one ever suspects the heavy hand of the Lord. Repent, <laughs> repent, or Jesus might take the head off you. Yeah? As you can already tell from these brief summaries, the works represented here do not necessarily have anything in common. There are resonances, but not similarities. If they do share something, it's the unnerving and exhilarating effect that Irish writing in English began to generate, at least since the literary revival of the 19th century, 